what's up guys hope you're doing well today i have a quick tip on dynamics today which is probably for beginners but some of you might not know about it so i'm gonna walk you through this real quick um, i just have a really uh, simple scene with a floor object that has a collider tag on it which is just a right click simulation tag rigid body and then we have this coins cloner we have a random effector kind of randomizing the coins a bit uh, what we're going to do is right click on there and we're going to add a simulation rigid body tag and if we hit play, it's going to group them all together. So we have to go to our collision tab and then under individual elements, instead of off, we're going to turn that to top level. So here's the setup. We have some coins dropping down. Now here's the part that can be kind of frustrating. Um, if we want to move our cloner around, we can do that. However, if we keyframe this, we'll add a keyframe and we'll move it over and we'll make another keyframe. If we hit play, you can see that it looks like it's moving, but nothing is actually changing with the coins. And that's because the dynamics is in full control of the scene. So you can't actually keyframe any of it. So you have zero control over where these guys are going after you set their start point. You can't keyframe them or move them around or do anything, which is kind of annoying uh, because sometimes you want a little bit more control. So if you click on your tag and go to the force tab, um, this follow position is what you're going to be looking for if you want to regain a little bit of control. So if we right click on this and we click show help, uh, we get a little pop up and it says that the, the settings in this tab are a combination of dynamics and traditional timeline animation. You can use the dynamics but still have some keyframes. So let's go ahead and turn this up to one and we'll hit play. And now you can see if I move this, um, I'm able to move the coins around, but they also have some dynamics on them. However, right now it's probably a little bit too much, so uh, the dynamics aren't really playing very accurately. So if we turn this down to maybe 0.2 and we'll hit play, now you can see that we're able to kind of keyframe this guy and move it around, but the dynamics are still applied to it. So if you want them to kind of move from one side to the other when they hit, so they kind of slide that way, that's really easy to keyframe now. You just add a keyframe, move it over to the side, make another keyframe, and here you go. You get kind of an animation that not only has dynamics, but you can also have a little bit more control. So that's follow position, guys. I hope that helps you out. Um, it's a little bit of a beginner tip, but if you're not aware of that, that's what that guy does, and it's extremely helpful. Thanks for checking out the Pixel Lab. We'll talk to you next time.